too hot for the night. Hey everybody, my name is Wyatt and I am Fur to Tunes and today we got yet another brand new episode of Diving In where I go headfirst into an artist's discography, analyzing my thought process from album to album and we are continuing with Arca. Of course, because who else is making music right now? Nobody. N there's no, there's no music. Period. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into it. Ah, I'm already losing my mind. Like, look, okay. Um, I'm gonna make the rest of this series easy for me, easy for you, and I'm just gonna go through the track list of each album rather than making it this big, you know, dissection covering everything. We're just gonna do a formula so I can get these videos out quick and simple and great. Okay, okay. So, kick one. I'm still catching up and fuck. Okay. So it's clear from the start that Arca is taking her sound and practically her whole aesthetic and image in a completely new direction with her presenting a much more confident and immediate feel to these songs. The biggest addition to her sound here is the very prominent Latin and reggaeton grooves that seamlessly blend with her electronic pop sound. It creates something a lot more accessible, especially for Arca standards, but this doesn't wear down any ideas on here at all, even though this album kind of feels like she's just getting started, which, yeah, she was. <laughs> now, non-binary, I didn't like it that much at first, but it's grown on me to see I, it's genius. It's like Arca's first flex song. And even with the beat being very off kilter and starting off very minimal, the groove is very odd, but she commands the flow of the song throughout its entirety, and her lyrics here are very raunchy, revealing, and just bossed up. Like, she is talking her shit on this track, as she should. Interesting, you get around and make shapes, yes. And sponge tips, rocking on the dick. Do you want to say it's... I don't give a fuck what you think. What? Like this, yo, I can already tell this is a whole different bag of worms. Oh yeah, okay. What is happening? Like this is... Oh, yeah, buddy. <sighs> okay, wow, that is an interesting intro. Like, this is the first song of many, many in the Kick series that just present a whole new side of Arca to me. The confident and flaunting sexual themes, even just in the lyrics, they give me this, like, primal arousal that just courses through my body, and I'm just sitting there like, Oh, God, did I? <laughs> oh, fuck. It's, it's a great intro, although it feels like a bit of a prelude. I feel like the song Time is really the opener for the whole vibe of the album. This is maybe her most accessible song, period. It's a very airy, trippy, euphoric soundscape. The synth work, as jaw-dropping as it is, it's not the most unique thing I've ever heard, but that alone is something new for Arca. This is Arca? <laughs> and I can't help but just love the simple, stripped-back feel here. It really lets everything shine, and it acts as maybe her most serene and relaxing song in her whole discography. <laughs> Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, fuck yeah. Wow. I'm loving this song. Holy shit. Oh my god. This is so fucking cool. <laughs> Then we get that more Latin pop feel for these like dancey tracks. Another element I really didn't expect, but again, it just blends to become what feels like just a whole new world of sound, especially with Mekwe Trefe. I hope I'm pronouncing that. Um, ah. <laughs> Wow. 
fuck i cannot get enough of this track it starts so urgently with her just flowing over these drums that quickly expand into this stunningly gorgeous hook with these sh synthy strings i don't know what the fuck but they pop in and just elevate the song it's total ear candy <laughs> What the fuck? It goes for a big chaotic whirlwind in like the middle section, but just slides back into the chorus perfectly and I think it's one of my all-time favorite songs from her. It's just so catchy and serene. It has it all. Dude, like... Oh! I've never heard something like this, yo. This, like... What the fuck? <laughs> Rikiki? I don't know, y'all. Just correct me in the comments if I'm pronouncing this shit horribly. Like, I'm a white boy from Canada. I, I'm just not good with uh, any other language. Even French. They teach it in school, and they, they didn't make me learn it in school because I was so fucking bad at it. Anyways, Rikiki is an explosive, fast-paced banger. Her chorus here is such a highlight for me. It just so urgent she literally grabs your ears it's like she's speaking directly in your brain and that bass is just making your skull shake oh. all the latin like i didn't expect but i guess i should have this sounds unreal Dude. It's a very captivating and energetic track. I love how it becomes more disorienting as it goes on, but that chorus is just so demanding of your attention and it keeps you from, you're never really thrown off track for how crazy the song gets. What, like, wow. I. Uh... Kalur isn't one of my favorite tracks here, but it isn't a low point or anything. It's another great, serene, and very relaxing track from her. It just doesn't give me that stunned, like, wow, that the others gave me. Holy Jesus Christ. Oh, the bass work. Oh. Oh my God. This is... Ridiculous. It sort of feels like a transitional track, and it does feel sort of necessary for the next track. And the next track has Björk on it. Oh no. I'm... Oh boy, was I excited for this. Y'all should know I'm a big fan of hers. This song delivered the best it possibly could have in my eyes. Arca builds this awe-inspiring soundscape and just lets Björk's vocals soar to the edge of the universe. Oh my god. 
this song took me to heaven and back. I was literally paralyzed, just stunned. And uh, it really sounds like homogenic and vespertine era Bjork. And uh, those are two of my favorite albums, like, ever. And knowing Arco is behind all this and her vocals coming in later, it's just an absolute glorious song. I could spend 30 minutes talking about this one alone, just the way it... Oh my god, I transcended. Bro, like this sounds like Vespertine. Oh my god, this is the best collab I think I've ever fucking heard. Oh my god, like I feel like I'm entering a different dimension. And these angels are singing. And then Watch immediately brings back that immediate feel. It, that beat just coming in all broken up and rolling around. I, it just gets your head rocking so hard. Oh, oh, oh god. What? <laughs> the kick is so hard hitting, which is fitting. Bars, what the fuck? But the grooves all over this song are just insanely infectious and hard hitting. It's another weird off kilter banger that, and they don't really stop here. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh my god, this album is so fucking sick. Uh, like, what the fuck? This shit is... Holy fuck, what a track. Oh my... Oh no, give me the- give me all the Latin vibes, bro. Oh! KLK? What? Rosalia adds these soft, sexy vocals to probably Arco's most danceable track to date. It's a hit and a half, and I hope one day I can hear this in a club or something, cause, bitch, I will go off. <laughs> Yo, oh, this is so crazy. Holy shit, they sound amazing together, too. This is so slick, like... <laughs> the sound of this song especially gets taken to new heights on the next kick, so I'll save that for the next video, but oh my god, I love this sound from her so much. Rip the slit. Oh my god. God, this shit got me headbanging, fist bumping, moshing, just losing my absolute shit in my bedroom. Oh my god, the, the percussion is like a different level, like... Bro, like, I I'm trying to hear Danny Brown on this. What the hell? Like, the beat just demands energy out of you. It's the definition of just pounding, and the bass is just hot. With one of the oddest vocal performances on the album, and the song progressing through so many subtle changes, especially in the second half, those chords just elevate it. I, I 
can't believe this. Like, uh -huh. Then we get this song with Sophie. What the fuck, eh? <laughs> oh my god. Sophie? This might be one of the weirdest songs in Arca's discography for me, and I can't really pinpoint why. It's just so fucking insane. It's like, oh my, I, oh, I'm gonna hurt myself trying to think of what to say. Unfortunately, as much as I admire this track, and I do enjoy it, it's just not what I expected. Again, I shouldn't have expected anything. But it just really makes me wish that they could have done more music together. Oh, the pain. Oh my god. Like, I'm I'm gonna have to listen to this so many more times. But, bro, like, imagine a collab album from them two? The second last song brings us back to the accessible light sounds with this one having the melody, beat, and structure of a full-blown pop song. I love her vocals on this. Oh my. Her hook just slides so nicely. Everything about this track is just lovely. It really sounds like Arco was just big time vibing in the studio and came out with a glorious, catchy tune. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. This is fire! No que de nada? Huh. We all know that Arca is a mastermind at ending an album, and this is no exception. Oh my god, there's something about when she sings like this. It is a very spacious, slow ballad type of song. This just feels like it's slowly lifting you back into your body after her and Sophie just fucking snatched the life out of you. You know, Arca is such a gracious queen. Thank you for not completely taking my life away. Oh my god. This is... Does this girl make anything other than masterpieces? Like, I don't... This... Oh my god. Like, oh, 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 it's so good. What the fuck? Overall, I feel this album does the best job it possibly can at introducing Arca's new era. I know some people don't love this album because it's not even close to as experimental as her past work and while i do understand that i'm always gonna admire an artist progressing and leaning into something completely new especially when it works out to be as fleshed out captivating and inspiring as this some moments on here feel a bit mismatched and the album is a tad all over the place, but this album feels like such a treat to me. After going through her whole discography, trudging through some of the darkest, whacked out, often painful and emotional soundscapes I could ever imagine, we get this triumphant banger of an album where Arca just feels completely comfortable relishing in the beauty of the world she's created. I fucking loved this album and it makes me so happy she's gotten to this point. I know I'm a very new fan, but I'm fucking proud of her, yo. Like, I just fucking love seeing someone like this thrive so much. And especially, I just want to mention quick, her on Vogue? Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god, bro. She's just fucking awesome. She's so inspiring and I'm sure I'll like hammer that point down once I get to the end of this series finally, but I just had to mention just ah. Uh, uh, so I'll cut it short because you know, there's a lot more to be said in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I love every single one of you. Go check out all of the previous Arca videos. There's like Fucking so many of them, bruh. Join the damn Discord if you want to talk to some cool people about some real cool music. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all that good stuff. 
Oh, I need a break, bruh. Thank y'all for everything. I'm sorry these took a little bit longer. I just, you know, I need to digest music. Much love. Thank you again. And we'll see you in the next one.